Yeah, but we ain't gonna put our TikTok name in the description down below, so make sure y'all check that out. And I know that we got a lot of new subscribers. Yeah, so, and this y'all first time seeing us since y'all subscribed. So, yeah, if you're new to that family, what's up? Actually, um, house green door, what's up? Yeah. All right. Scream, the movie screen, you're like, what's up? Really, nigga? Oh. I was lost on what the No, seriously, we owe y'all so much content. We so, 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 so sorry. We don't want y'all to, like, unsubscribe or not with us no more. Like, we just been going through so much. Me, mentally, Chad here to help me. Um, but I'll tell y'all the story why we've been going for so long. Like, it was like a sad time. Like, it was very sad. And I didn't, I didn't have, I wasn't motivated to post. I wasn't motivated to do anything. We started doing TikTok and it didn't take as much energy out me as YouTube. YouTube. So, um, don't forget to subscribe. We got 12K, no, 13K. Um, we doing good on TikTok. Yeah, we got 13K followers what, um, a less week? than a month. What? Let's, a week do it. A thousand followers? Two weeks, we got a thousand followers, and right now we That's got 13. Up, you know how and three long weeks. it took us to get a thousand followers on so YouTube. YouTube? Not only that, we just hit our first million oh, one views video. on one of our videos. That's what's up, though. Yep. Thanks to everybody that supported us. And you know what I mean? A lot of y'all came from TikTok that subscribed with us now. But without further ado, we're going to get right into this video. All right, y'all. So, as y'all read from the title, it says that I had a miscarriage. That is true. We would not lie or play nothing. This is no clickbait or nothing like that. We did have videos of us like she showing. Let's get. We gonna get there. All right. All right. I'm always jumping. He's always like right. he can't right. just give y'all details. Like he always got. Hell, you know. Yeah. Straight no. I mean, you gotta no. just really stop trying to show me cool. Ain't nothing. Right. Share that phone. Will we have the video four minutes or do we want to check? Like. Right. 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 So. Like I said, I wouldn't lie about nothing like this or nothing. And this is really why we stayed up for YouTube. So I found out that I was pregnant and um, I'm gonna say March. What we'll come no. before February? January. Oh, January or was it December? I found out. No, it wasn't December. It was January. No. Alright. January. Well, it was, it was early, early December. January or the end of December. Yeah, All right. December going into no. The end of December. No, I okay. had it been in January though. All right. All right. So anyway, so I found out that I was pregnant in early, early, early January, and I was so excited. Not because it was a surprise. It was a surprise, but we was also trying. Like, we were trying to have a baby. And, like, I wanted a baby. It took us four months for me to finally get pregnant. Like, so, um, I come telling Chad, like, well, let, first of all, let me tell y'all how I found out and then why I told him. Uh, I mean, how I told him. So, I kept taking pregnancy tests and they kept saying negative, 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 negative. So, I just got, like, discouraged again. I'm like, all right, I'm not pregnant again this month. I was real sad or whatever. And I'm like... But for some reason, and I know this is too early, but I've been pregnant before, and I had like milk suds on my, you know, but I'm like, 
don't, I'm telling Jared, like, do this look like milk to you? He's like, I don't know, try squeezing. I squeezed and a tiny bit of milk came up. So I'm like, but the pregnancy test said I'm not pregnant or whatever. And then he's like, I don't know, whatever. So, um, what happened? I took a pregnancy test. I t when I tell you, Chad kept telling me, stop buying pregnancy tests. You're not yeah. pregnant. Yo, I put about a, 20 oh pregnancy tests. I always, I could be more. Every time we were out past the surf, Chad, we gotta go get a pregnancy uh -huh. test. Oh, uh, Chad, my stomach hurt. Let's go get a pregnancy uh -huh. test. And I'm little like, thing. Yeah. I'm a little nauseous. Let's get a pregnancy test. A little dollar test. pregnancy test. I'm just saying. Like, That's what just, I keep telling him. I'm like, Chad, it's a dollar. How's it going to hurt? Or it, don't, it don't matter. Like, she just, every single day, let's go get a pregnancy test. I really wanted to be pregnant. Like, I really wanted to have a baby. So, um, so I had a bunch of pregnancy tests just sitting in the closet. It was pregnancy tests that I took that he didn't even know. They was negative, and I was putting them in um, a bag in a closet. But I kept them because I was making videos every time I was taking my pregnancy test, and they were still negative. So I was gonna put them all together when I finally got a positive one. But I got the positive one, and I text two of my friends, and I was like, um, I told them, like, I got a pregnancy test, but it's very, very faint. Like, it was a very, very faint line on it. And, um, I would ask them, like, should I tell Chad? And they told me I should wait to make sure or whatever. But I couldn't. I couldn't. I told Chad anyways. So what I did was I had put the pregnancy test inside um, the laptop bag. And I was like, Chad, can you hand me that uh, cord or something out the laptop bag? I asked him to hand me something. And I and it was sitting right there on the couch. And I was like, can you hand me the cord out the laptop I bag? Mean, that was during the time. Yeah, it wasn't January because we was watching Power during that time, I think. Oh, okay. and, so I'm so focused on like watching the episode, so I'm like uh -huh. grabbing a bag like this, and she like, can you can you get the laptop cord? And I'm just like, it was cool. I'm, like, I'm trying to watch Power or whatever. So I go in there. I'm like, ain't no laptop cord in this joint. So I go in there. I'm like, I put it out. Like I'm so hyped. Like it made me so happy because I'm like, dang. But I wouldn't think she would do Cause something. Cause I didn't like record, so, and I really should have recorded, but I didn't record that because it was just like so, I didn't want him to use camera, and I really just wanted to tell him I wasn't supposed to be showing. So at that point, you know, the boy, I was just so happy because I was so happy and speechless at the same time because I was like, dang, man, forget power. Like, dang, my wife is finally pregnant. We've been trying for a minute. So and I'm like, oh, like, dang, like, I couldn't stop smiling, but, you know, once that happened, like. So I was telling him that, um, I don't know if I'm actually pregnant because the line was saying it, but I looked up several different, um, things on YouTube, and I looked up a lot of stuff on Google, and they say if, no matter how light the line is, you're pregnant, the ACG levels might not be high enough for you, I mean, for the test to detect it, you might have to go to the, like, doctors for them to draw blood or whatever. So I'm like, all right, I'm pregnant. I'm feeling good or whatever. But I take another test and nothing shows up. But then I put it in the bag again and went back to it and it was a, a line. This time it was darker because, like, after a while it shows up or whatever. So, but I'm telling Chad, like, it's still negative or whatever, but I didn't go look at it until later on. And I was like, I don't really think I'm pregnant or whatever. So I took about three more pregnancy tests. That's how extra I am. And they all, the next one had a very dark line on it. I'm like, yes. Like, I'm just like, yes, I'm pregnant. Like, I'm pregnant. A couple of days, maybe a whole week or two go by or whatever. And I'm telling Chad, like, my stomach hurts. Something don't feel right. Like, I keep saying, like, I keep getting these weird pains out of nowhere. I just keep saying, like, we was um about to go to, where are we going? His sister dinner. Um, we was going to his sister dinner, Andrea dinner, and I had the orange over on, and I was sitting on the couch. Oh, right, right. I was sitting on the couch and I was talking about how my stomach hurt. Me and Chad was like arguing, whatever. And I ain't saying that. I just was in pain. He like, you are. Right. And I'm like, no, my stomach hurt really bad. But Chad probably be thinking like she's trying to like sound wrong with it because we no. arguing, or whatever. No. no. I kept saying I need. To, I should go to the emergency room because I made my first appointment, but. Hold it was a couple Always. Of, oh, no, it was a yeah. They made they gave my appointment for so late. They wanted me to be ten weeks, I think. So, all right, they made they told they made my appointment for so late. So I was just like, all right, I'm gonna wait until my appointment. But I'm like, no, I keep having something. So well, now this is the part that was like just so heartbreaking for me. We dropped Susu off the school that morning. And I'm like, we don't have nothing to do today. Let's go by to the emergency room to see what's going on. No, before all that, remember you was up all night. You skipped that part. 
You were laying in the bed and your stomach was hurting like oh. real, real bad. Yeah, my stomach was hurting like real bad. I'm like, it just feel like these real like tight cramps. I couldn't explain it. Like it was just like, hurting. I mean, she to a point where she crying. I'm like, all right, like what the hell is wrong with you? But like, I know period cramps is like crazy, but this pain felt like. I don't know, but like, I knew it was hurting her like real bad. So you know, I try to comfort her, you know, like like get her heat and pad and stuff like that. Yeah. She couldn't even go. To I sleep. could barely walk so though. I like I was saying, like, like, let's go to the hospital. Let's go to the hospital. And she like, wait, wait. I'm like, come on, like let's go to the hospital. You know, she like, no, I don't. Yeah, really I feel like they were just gonna hospital. send me home. Like I like, just. So I was like, all right, whatever. So you know, we just put along in the situation. So man. Yeah, so we dropped Susu off to school, and I'm like, all right, today we're not doing nothing. Let's go to the emergency room. So I get to the emergency room, whatever, and my stomach wasn't really hurting that day. I just wanted yeah, to go every, to make sure everything was everything was fine. Everything was completely fine we that day. To go buy some snacks for the yes, we like they taking so long. We said no. Wow, all right now this is the part. So we was waiting for a long time. So now I tell them like I'm having like stomach pains and I'm pregnant, or whatever like that. But because I wasn't so far, they wasn't like like. They treating me like, like yeah. it was an emergency. And so it almost made me mad because I was ready to snack. Yeah, after okay, so let me tell you one chance about the snack. So we went to the vending machine, we was getting our stuff out the vending machine, whatever. And I'm like, all right, I'm I'm just tell y'all, I didn't have no underwear or nothing on. Like I just had like another skirt under my overgarment, but I didn't have no underwear on it with it. Sometimes I just don't wear underwear, but anyway. <laughs> so I had um I'm like Chad, I feel like something real wet or whatever. And, and you know, I'm just thinking like I'm just wet or something. Like I don't know. Like, <laughs> like, I'm like, all right, all right, all right. You all right. Know, extra, but you all right extra. I know, I am a little extra. So I'm like so I'm yeah. telling Chad like do you feel something? Like, I'm like telling like, Chad to feel, feel the butt. butt. Like, I'm telling Chad to feel my I'm butt. Like, I can't feel, feel nothing. Like, but I had two skirts. Like, I had a skirt on under my overgarment, too. So I'm like, Chad, um, feel it, whatever. And he just like, um, I don't feel nothing. And he's like, you better go to the bathroom. So I go to the bathroom. I lift my overgarment up to tire so I can squat to go to the bathroom. And I see, like, blood just dripping down my legs. And that that's my heart just broke. I was just so, that's Ooh, beautiful, I baby. See. I was so heartbroken because I'm automatically, like, in my head, I'm just like, okay, I'm having a miscarriage. But, so, I'm like, I just was so heartbroken because I'm like, this is a miscarriage. I know I'm having a miscarriage. I, I looked up so much stuff on Google the night before, like, what's going on, whatever like that. So, yeah, she always I always does. do. If Google tell me I got cancer, I got cancer. That's just my mind. But, so, when I seen the blood, I was just like, I gotta go tell Chad or whatever like that. So remind you, I have no underwear on. Like I'm bleeding, just getting third. So I'm telling the I, first. I told Chad, I'm coming out already with tears, and I'm already telling them like, yeah, bro, hold on. I was already that, crying. So when she came out, like, she like Chad like like crying like. So I'm like alright to a point where she like Chad, I'm like I'm bleeding or whatever. And I'm like what like. So, but in my head, I'm just like, all right. You talking about she, say what law is, hey. is she really bleeding or, because y'all know, if y'all know Shia, like, she's a real good actor. So, I ain't know if it was, like, a prank or something, like, like, saying, oh, all right, yeah, I'm going, I'm having a miscarriage. Sorry, you can finish talking. Something like that. So, like, I'm like, all right, like, is she serious or is she playing? So when she came out, she crying and everything. So now to this point where I, we both get up, we go to the front. Like, all right, my wife is, uh, you know, bleeding, yada, yada, yada. She need to see a nurse, ASAP, whatever. So they like, okay, we're going to let her, we're going to let the nurses know, whatever. You should be in the back shortly. Whatever. It was crowded that day. For some reason, I don't know why, but it was a lot of people there. So now, like, she's still saying, you know, she crying, whatever. I'm comfortable with her. You mean... Paying her back, you know, whore, yada, yada, yada. But now they taking so long. Now I'm getting to a point where now I'm getting frustrated because now she's crying. I wanted to go tell them, actually. I was like, okay, I wasn't bleeding when I came in here, but I'm bleeding now. Yeah, and it's a lot. Uh -oh. But the thing is, I had, I had to ask them for, like, um, the disposable underwear yeah. and pads, whatever. So they just give me a pad, but I put it, I put just put it between my legs, but like just a pad like they were just like i don't know i was already saying they wasn't treating me good and i'm just like it's so much blood like y'all need to see me now whatever so they finally see me put me in the room whatever i took off all my stuff and they like 
We don't know it. It could not be a mascara. So they're getting my hopes back up. I'm like, all right, maybe it's not a mascara. It's like, maybe I'm just bleeding. They said they see a lot of women see that in the early um, pregnancy, like in the first trimester. So I'm like, okay, maybe I'm just bleeding or whatever. So they, they did that and they, um, what am I trying to say? All right, so I took off all my clothes. When I got to the back, I put I took off all my clothes, or whatever, and they was telling me maybe it's not a um, miscarriage or whatever. Don't just don't be scared or whatever. You don't know yet. They said we won't be able to tell until we reach your ACG level. So they read my ACG level. They told me it was too low. That broke my heart again because and I got the um, ultrasound and they couldn't see the sac or nothing. They couldn't see. They didn't see it. Then on top of that, like. They gonna tell me I can't go in the room. I had to stay downstairs. Oh, yeah, Chad couldn't come. So, so I was like, like, okay, like, what the fuck? Chad sat downstairs, and I was like, you know, ultrasound for about an hour. Like, yeah. it was long. So we sitting there texting back and mm -hmm. forth, you know, frustrated. frustrated and I was man. hungry. They ain't let me eat my chips. Yeah, they ain't. That's another thing, though. But I was on top of that, sometime. like, we ain't had no service in that job. I kept texting Shia. None of the messages was going through. So I ain't know what the hell was going on. Like. So um, the ultrasound, they was like, we don't see nothing on the ultrasound, but maybe because it's too early or whatever. Because you could either be one week early or one week, I mean, one week less than what like, the the app say or whatever. So I'm like, all right. Um, then they like, so we're going to let you know what the ACG level is. They come back and they like, your ACG level is really low. So basically, I was being discharged. They said that um, we want you to go get your ACG levels um, tested again in two days to see if they got lower or, they, or if they risen or whatever, rising or whatever. So I went to go do that, and they called me and told me that they were lower, and I was having a miscarriage. Like, I had a miscarriage or whatever. It was too low to even be any baby farming. So now they told me what I need to do is... Um, get another, get my blood red again. I mean, my ACG levels ran again because um, now we need to make sure I wasn't pregnant in my fallopian tube. And I just was so over it. I wasn't going to the appointment to get a red no more. And I, they kept calling me, calling. I'm like, all right, maybe I really need to do it. Maybe. And then I looked up that it could be life threatening. So I got it, and they was like, all right, your level is back to zero, and life just had to go on. Like I was like crying the way home to pick up soup, everything. Yeah. I was, like, so sad. It was, like, a long journey. It was, because I was, like, really sad because, like, it took us four months to finally get a pregnancy, I mean, a positive pregnancy test, and then for me to not even be pregnant at all. I was, like, so sad, although the baby wasn't um, developing. It just felt like I lost a child, and I was just so, like, I was really heartbroken. Like, I just kept crying. All right, baby. I just kept... Hold on, mommy. I just was so sad, but... Anyways, that's the whole story of the miscarriage. Um, that's the reason why we haven't been posting. We will start posting. Y'all need to comment down below, like, what videos y'all want to see. Because we be, like, we don't know. I told y'all we be having, like, creative block. Like, <laughs> we don't know. Yeah, on top of that, we're stuck in the house. So, all we can do is post videos. Yeah, right now, all we can do is post videos. So, tell us what y'all want to see. But, sometimes we be, um not posting because we begin to discourage our views sometimes we be like this video not going up or like we wasting our time to stay in the third but we don't want to give up because yeah, we love we doing it a, a long way a long way so when we first first started i mean when we only had like 10 subscribers to a point where I started scheming, you know, making like a thousand on Gmails and just making it seem like we were really uh, just subscribing. <laughs> Alright, but... And like, watching our videos a thousand times. But they don't work. Watching your videos a thousand times don't bring your views up. Right. If we could do that, we would have, but... It don't work. But anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope most of y'all made it to the end because this is the reason why we haven't been putting out content for y'all. Um, it was really sad. I was super, super, super sad. Um, Chad too because uh, he I'm knew what he felt. Like, he felt my pain. Even and, though I mean, she gonna feel a little sad because y'all like, carrying this baby in y'all. Yeah, but anyways, so, it's just, we'll be trying again one day. Whatever happens, Inshallah, happens. Soon. I'm kind of scared to try again. Yeah. Honestly, so we're not trying right now. If it happens, it happens. But, I mean, at this point, we're not trying again. Because maybe, I mean, yeah. they say everything happens for That's a reason. That's what I was going to say. Everything happens for a reason. So, I mean, and maybe it's like, time for us to have a baby right now. Because we're going to distract this one. Baby. We got 
Right now. Or something else might go on in the world that just the baby is not good for it right now. Yeah, like this I whole see. corona. Yeah. Yeah. I like, I shouldn't be sick pregnant, so. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Please give it a big fat yeah, thumbs up and look at yourself. Your mom, your dad, your brothers, your sisters, your couples, your side, 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 your side